I hate towns. They're loud, crowded. I stay here for him. He's the only family I have ever had. All right, so the first thing I did is actually I colored my hair and I colored it with a hairspray color or color spray, whatever. I kind of first did the, um, my hair and I'm going to probably have residue of this hairspray the entire time in my hair. It's going to be very frustrating throughout the video. And um, so now I'm going to be covering my eyebrows and I'm going to be doing that little lower, wider lower bridge right here. So first thing is covering my eyebrows. I'm going to be using Kryolan's Eyebrow Plastic. Actually before that, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a primer. A primer, I'm just applying it quickly with my fingers. Before we go and conceal our eyebrows, the next thing which we're going to do is we're going to be using Moran's 3D gel to kind of get this. So be careful that it's not too hot when applying it. I just had like a leakage of it, like a massive leakage. Very hard to work with and don't burn your skin, to be honest. First time I'm using it. Now, since I want this part to be a little bit wider, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some paper and I'm going to use the 3D gel as if it were latex and I'm going to be building like a bridge or something like that. Be very careful not to get this into your eyes or on your lashes. Right now, this is the effect that I got, and I gotta let this kind of dry. So, um, as soon as it dries, then I'm going to uh, take my white face powder and just kind of set it. So now, after it's done, as you can see, it's not really like ideal, but um, with the 3D gel, it's really hard to work with. If you have a prosthetic, um, which is going to within your nose, that would probably be the easiest option. If not, you can use latex and paper, what would be much, much harder um, to get this structure without using a 3D gel. I actually do recommend the 3D gel, but I also want you guys to know that it's really hard to work with it. Um, if you are interested, please leave a comment below telling me and I'll show you how to use it properly. It does take time to use it. This is actually the first time that I was using it. I was quite impressed of how I was using it. So the next thing now is I'm going to use my concealers to conceal uh, my eyebrows. I'm using my Sigma um, Precision Flat Angled Brush P88. The last thing which we're going to do is we're going to be applying in the end my foundation. But right now we're going to do the eyes. And if you guys have noticed, she actually has very dark contoured eyes. And she has like a silver eyeshadow in the middle of her eye, a blue eyeliner, and a very bla black surrounding. So I'm going to be doing that now. So the first thing I'm going to do, just to kind of, in order to make my eyes stand out, I'm going to be using Provoke going to be applying it on my eyelid. So now I'm going to be taking uh, Makeup Geek's eyeshadow in Preppy and Sigma's blending taper blending brush in E40 and I'm going to be applying it right below where my eyebrow is on that whole entire area. Now I'm going to take uh, Sigma's eyeshadow in Mercury and I'm going to be applying it on my entire two-thirds of my eyelid. Uh, now I'm going to be combining the Sigma Smudge Brush in E21, Sigma Small Tapered Blending Brush in E45, and Sigma Pencil Brush in E30. I'm going to be using these three to first do a cut crease and then blend it out. I'm going to be using Makeup Geek's um, Black Eyeshadow in Corrupt. Now take the small pencil brush and just apply some of this. And redefine the cut crease, um, apply some of the black eyeshadow in the inner corners. 
Now take the small tapered blending brush and just blend the line which you just drew. Pick up some corrupt if required and then just slowly blend it all together. Take um, the small pencil brush and apply corrupt on your lower eyelid. Just smudge it, it doesn't have to be neat. Take a blue, navy blue or blue um, pencil, eye pencil, and apply it on your top eyelid. Right on your lower eyelid. Smudge it in with the black eyeshadow, right on the edge of your eyelid. Not on your waterline, but on that edge. Now go back and take the Smudge Rush E21, pick up Corrupt, and just kind of continue to smudge that black eyeshadow on the tear duct area. Remember, this doesn't have to be neat because your own makeup is not really neat at all. And then smudge it out with a pencil brush just to blend the edges a little bit more. So now that I uh, applied my fake lashes and put a mascara, the lashes, fake lashes which I use are from Head Candy below in the info box on my website. You can see exactly which ones and you'll be able to see a picture of it. I already did a review of them. The next thing is now I'm going to be applying a foundation. So what I did is I uh, used my cream foundations to contour and cover up uh, the, I would say, harsh edges of this, but basically it was semi-successful. And now I'm going to do the detailed work, which she has, like uh, the detailed work on her face with a white eyeshadow, and I'm going to be using um, Makeup Geek's White Lies. Apply the dot right there, the highlight that she has there, um, the dot and the, I would call it a rainbow line up there, and the other side. I'm going to be mixing these two shades from my e.l.f. lip encyclopedia and uh, just applying it on my lips. She has very neutral lips. I'm just going to make them a little bit darker. And there you go, that's the look. Hopefully you like it. Uh, I know it's a little bit complex because of the 3D and the latex that I use and everything, but um, hopefully you like this. And if you do, don't forget to like it, share, share it with your friends, and also make sure right here, a picture's gonna pop up. Make sure to check out my Stamatar previous tutorial. Don't forget to come back Thursday. Another character from Defiance is going to be popping up. And thank you guys so much for watching. See you Thursday. Bye.